3, 1, 2. Brothers, uh, people that get to see a little bit of the church throughout the world, this is something that's, you can say, new to this century. The church is going to be on this, uh, under the administration of the apostles for about a hundred years now. It's 98 years of existence. And these beautiful temples are a testament of the faith of the brothers of the church the Lord of the world. Because ever since its beginning, it's been always focused on finding the best that we could offer to our God, and that includes even these uh, constructions. Nobody's stopping us, nobody is hindering our ability to worship, to practice our free freedoms of expression, nobody. Nevertheless, here at the church, so all this misconception that uh, we are slaves, that uh, this is a cult, that uh, we are uh, bad in the head. My invitation is for those people to come and to get to know a little bit of our faith and make your own assumptions. Don't fall for what the media is saying because, yes, people say, well, your leader is in jail. Well, our leader got his constitutional rights violated in order to achieve that. So once you start laying all these little things on the table, all of a sudden, the scope, the view that people have of uh, the faith, the members of the light of the world changes. And that's why they come and they see for their own selves, and they, would, they decide to get uh, the baptisms, to decide to visit, to day by day grow their faith in Jesus Christ. Our, our salvation is not depending on the minister, on the pastor, or on the deacon. No, no, no. Our salvation is a... a granted by our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And that is the faith of the members of the Church of the World. God bless you, God pay you. Please share and subscribe. I'm going to be keeping on posting what's happening. God bless.